Live stream super chat for veracity price analysis. And again, for veracity, it's another one of the KuCoin coins. After I establish being able to, so this is for the recording, sorry, live stream people, I'll try to make this fast. So um, for the copy trading stuff on Shrimpy, which is the only platform that has KuCoin slash KuCoin gems like this, um, even though BitGet might have this, but anyway, I need to figure out if I could protect followers better than Shrimpy allowed me to during May with the flash crash, but I should know by December 13th uh, through the 15th because we're gonna have wicked volatility and I will be able to observe how the limit stops, which I hate, I don't use, I, how Shrimpy's limit stops function and if they function, because they didn't in May and it scorched everybody, me included, it sucked. Um, but uh, so once I determine I can protect people better than I did in May 2021 or better than Shrimpy allowed me to <laughs> in May 2021, uh, Partly my fault because I was ignorant of it and I didn't communicate it to everybody, the downfalls. But once I can have my ducks in a row and like near and figure out, do I know all the unknowns? So I don't want to have unknown unknowns. That's what I did last time, right? Or no, I had known unknowns. I, I just didn't find a solution for it. <laughs> the limit stops, all right? But um, so anyway, I'm uh, testing this account out. Uh, I'm 15% in um, out of the money reserved that I have for try uh, for veracity, which means I think there's a mild chance that it bounces from the exact point. But I would prefer to be in on a trade and go heavier in once it hits this trend line. So um, I don't see it coming all the way down to here yet until the 15th or after. Okay, that's when we're going to get continuation with uh, the markets and in Bitcoin. So that that applies to everything. I don't see this being hit yet. This is an origin line. All right, let me let me zoom out so you can see. Okay, that's the origin line. See that? That's not going to be hit quite yet, so I'm not going to. So if I wait for that, because I don't think continuation will happen anytime soon, I will just be sitting there sitting on my hands. So uh, I'm I bought 15% in here uh, because Bitcoin stayed level as Dow Jones went down, down, down all day and then bounced. So at that bounce on Dow Jones, since Bitcoin went sideways the whole time, I bought it without even looking at the chart, but only 15% because. Uh, I, I, I prefer this. So yeah, just this trend line. A lot of people, everybody's gonna be looking at it. So since everybody's looking at it, just realize it'll probably go like this. <sighs> oh, wait, it, it's not gonna do this again the third time. It might, but it's more likely gonna do this. Or something even trickier. Like this. It could go down to satisfy that, but I don't know, 4%, yeah, it's only 4% away. It could. So I would go, so I'm 15% in now, and if it starts screaming up, that's okay. I can just market buy into a rally if I think there's gonna be a rally, but which I actually don't think there will be quite yet. Um, so if this is never filled, since I don't think Bitcoin and Dow Jones, are, Dow Jones are situated currently, that could change currently for a big rally, I would just sell into the rally with that 15% and make a tiny, tiny ass profit uh, on a percentage basis. Um, but here, I would probably go after half of a position, my average position, and here I would, I would use the rest for a spot trade buy-in. Or maybe just kind of as it drifts down, just keep, you know, nibbling at it with the rest of it um but yeah i would prefer to enter right there uh what else i'm doing so we've already done long-term stuff on veracity a whole bunch it does have permission though to get above this line and to touch here it touched this line just like i've been telling everybody it was going to actually no it was over here everybody thought to the moon i was like uh-uh it has to touch this line it cannot go to the moon until it touches this line no, it might, no, it's this one. To the moon, release update or whatever it was. Uh-uh. You don't have permission to moon. Sorry. You can't go, you can't go above this line. You can't do it. This line has to be touched first. So this line has been touched. Therefore, it technically could go all the way up to here. But I wouldn't trade to that. I would trade up to here and I would take all my profits without caring. So veracity people, this has been one of the three major profit themes of this uh, chat, 
or this live stream that is ubiquitous across all crypto trading, not specific to any coin, is, for example, here, I don't care if it keeps going higher. That's where I plan to take profit on my trade. And when I sell it, I specifically will not even think about it. Will it go up higher? I don't care. If it does, and I'm sitting on tether, what can I do? I can go find something else. Take profit on it, then move it back. Move that tether back to the reserved for veracity folder. Or just wait and don't trade veracity until it has a higher low. Make sense? Um, so if you're, you know, doing this too, don't worry about it going over there. Don't worry about it. If it does, great. There are other coins that are going to go up too. Who cares? Because if Veracity goes above here and keeps going, but you sold there and you got out, well, go find something else. Uh, so you have essentially a triangle here. So taking on a spot trade or a 1x long at the bottom is what I'm going to do, right? Or on this trend line here, like I showed you earlier. Right? I don't think if it's going to exactly get to the bottom on the third try, but, and then I'll take profit at the top. Enter 1x on the bottom, take profit at the top. And then the one time it blasts out and I've already sold, I don't care. My account went up on when I sold. I'm fine. I don't care about the whole thing. I'll wait for it to go like this. And then I'll buy it back where I just sold it. And then continue on with the move the same way. Right? Um, and that's it. So these are the... Uh, that, that This is literally what's happening with Veracity. Until Bitcoin gets a continuation move around the 15th or slightly earlier in December, here in about a week, Veracity is going to stay in this triangle. It's that simple. It won't move out of there significantly um, until after the 15th. And it could be until after the new year. Because right here is the new year. It technically could stay in there. For people watching the recording of the Veracity stuff, uh, hit the like button and leave me a quick emoji comment on your way out.